It's the final matchup of the weekend in Major League Rugby. The Legion in town to visit the Sabercats here in the Lone Star State. Sam Windsor and company ready to go. They played that tight battle in San Diego back in the opening month of league play. Looking to find another home victory as we are at Dyer Stadium today. A little throwback for the Houston Sabercats returning to their original home grounds from one year ago. Lincoln Rose, Kim McConaughey with you. Kid, a low scoring affair in California when they met at the start of the season, 17-13. Since then, though, we have seen the Legion catch fire and really start to grow in confidence that they'll be among those top four teams in the postseason. They have indeed, Lincoln, the hottest team in the league. They are absolutely outstanding. It is going to be a tough task for Houston to slow down San Diego today. Take a look at the big picture, of course. Uh, Glendale with a big win the other day coming into this weekend against Rugby United. Earlier today, Toronto. A convincing victory holding the Seattle Seawolves to just one try in that matchup. Arrows got the critical bonus point as well. All of a sudden, they forced themselves into that conversation for the battle for the playoff spots. Sabercats slip back to eighth after Utah picks up its second win of the year yesterday against Austin. Sabercats desperately in need of a victory, and if they have any shot of getting into the playoffs, it has to start today with a win over San Diego. Again, we take a look at this busy weekend here in Major League Rugby. It was back on Friday. The Raptors able to knock off Rooney. Meanwhile, we mentioned the Warriors with their second win on this campaign. The Arrows and Seawolves up in Toronto. It's a win streak for the Arrows for the first time this year. And a bit of a surprise there, the way not just that they won, but how they took down the defending champions. Toronto in fine form, two in a row at home. We have seen some competitive matchups this year between the bottom of the table and the top of the table. How does San Diego avoid an upset here on the road today? First and foremost, they have to hold on to the ball. They lead the league in handling errors. They have to be more sure-handed today and keep winning. I mean, you are unbeaten in your last three winners of eight of your last nine. Set pieces particularly important for the team. Tops in lineouts in Major League Rugby. Houston trying to bounce back from their trip up north of the border. How do they return here to the Lone Star State and find at least four points? For the Cats, it has to be about try time. They can't settle for three points. They've done that all season with Sam Windsor. That will not be enough against San Diego. They need to get tries. Defense, they lead the league in the inauspicious stat of the points conceded. They're going to have to tighten up in the scrum. What are their biggest strengths? It is going to have to come up big today. Well, everybody has their favorites with all the great names these days in Major League Rugby. I know you have your eye on a particular gentleman in Mikey Teo. Oh, the machine, Mikey Teo, the USA Eagle, one of the best in the league with ball in hand, absolutely electric. Two long-range tries last week. The Cats are going to have to slow him down. I don't think anyone can stop him. For the Houston Sabercats, Pat O'Toole perhaps was auditioning to play out on the wing with a score against Toronto. They're going to keep him right where he's at home at Hooker. The Irish Hooker, known for stabilizing that front line, great in the scrum, but he's getting into the act offensively. He's become a mainstay, and he's going to have to keep things up tonight offensively going up against the top defense in the league in San Diego. Sabercats welcome the Legion into their backyard here in Houston, Texas. We get underway on this Sunday night in the Lone Star State, Houston, San Diego. Aviva, proudly sponsoring Houston Sabercats Rugby. With over 16,000 customers and 4,400 employees across the globe, we have delivered unrivaled excellence for more than 50 years. In an environment that's increasing in complexity, the one constant is the need for change. Change driven by new demands, by the desire to do things better, by sustaining what you've created. We enable customers to master change, pushing boundaries in a digital world where everything is possible. We are brothers, united by a shared passion to grow the sport of rugby. We assemble here. Our home, Aviva Stadium. Welcome Dynamo fans to Cube 57, Patty Smith, John Granado, and Paul Gallant. We're really excited to be broadcasting 30 Houston Dynamo games this season. We were the Dynamo home last year. We're proud to be it again, and we hope that you'll be along with us, whether they're here at BBVA Compass Stadium or on the road all season long. That's right, Channel 57 or 653 on Xfinity. Come join us. We know athletes because we are athletes. 
At the Sports Medicine Clinic at the Baylor College of Medicine, we provide top-level care to athletes of all levels in Houston and around the country. As the official health care provider of the Houston Sabercats, our doctors and sports medicine health care professionals are dedicated to safely enhancing our athletes' performance while promoting recovery and injury prevention. Getting you back on the field, in the game, and ready to roar. Season two of Major League Rugby is up and running. Nine teams from across the U.S. and Canada battle it out every week for the right to hoist the MLR Shield. Fort for the line. Look at this guy coming over. The crowd is so wild. The intensity, the drama, the buzz. You've got to love it. This is Rugby America. Get involved. Get behind it. It's here to stay. Aviva, proudly sponsoring Houston Sabercats Rugby. With over 16,000 customers and 4,400 employees across the globe, we have delivered unrivaled excellence for over 50 years. In an environment that's increasing in complexity, the one constant is the need for change. Change driven by new demands, by a desire to make things better, by sustaining what you've created. We enable customers to master change, pushing boundaries in a digital world where everything is possible. Red Hot Legion make their lone trip to Houston today to square off against the Sabercats. Take a look at the starting lineup for Rob Hobley's men. Kim McConico, I know you love the consistency that they have among the backs. That's been so impressive. 9 through 15, everybody can handle the ball, but it's going to be the guys up front. They're going to be tested, particularly in the scrum against the Cats. As for the Houston Sabercats, you talk about that scrum. That is truly the strength of this unit as we take a look at the man that Justin Fitzpatrick has in his first 15. And the pack's so important to Houston's success. Talk about Sanguinetti, O'Toole, Mullen up front as they lead. So goes Houston, Windsor. One of the best in the league with the boot. And continued intrigue with Threaten Palamo making his second straight start at center, one of the newest additions. Lincoln Rose, Kit McConaughey with you. Time to check down on the pitch for the first time today with Stephanie Gonzalez. Stephanie. Thanks, Lincoln. I'm so excited to be here with y'all tonight. The Sabercats are getting ready to take on the San Diego Legion right here at Dyer Stadium. And also during halftime, I'll be chatting with Sabercats captain Matt Truville about some exciting summer news. So stay tuned for that. All right, back to you, Lincoln. Stephanie, thank you. One to look forward to here as Luke Rogan will help oversee things in our matchup in the Lone Star State tonight. We are at Dyer Stadium. It's the third different home venue this year for the Sabercats, but they will welcome the steady ground underneath their feet as that scrum is one of the advantages they have had this year, one of the bright spots for the home side. Meanwhile, San Diego, of course, we showed you the table. This is a group that could wake up tomorrow atop the table if they can secure a win and a bonus point for the try. Huge opportunity for the Legion. They've got yep, to good. get that victory and the bonus point. It can put them atop of the standings. For Houston, they want to play physically from the very beginning, really come out, take it to San Diego, and see what the response is from the Legion. Uching able to shed some saber cans early on. This one will go backwards as they're going to actually bring it back here. No team hotter than San Diego. They've not just won their last four straight matchups, but they are unbeaten in their last five. They were part of one of those two draws this year that was at Glendale. But for San Diego, if they're going to hang on to one of these playoff spots, they're going to get it done on the road. It begins tonight. This is the first of four straight matchups away from Torero Stadium. They're going to have to get those road victories. They start tonight in the Lone Star State. Just continue doing what they do in the high-flying offense, the top defense in the league. It is made for a potent combination and a lot of success for the side from Southern California. This right here is what the Sabercats have done best this year, often earning themselves chances to put the ball on the tee for Sam Windsor. Houston has to use the power. You see the big boys up front. Really their strength. It's come up. It's coming. Houston wants to starve San Diego of possession, force the Legion to play their game, and hopefully take the lead, force San Diego to play from behind. And second scrum here for Connor Murphy and gang. Second go at it. Murphy, the former London Irish player. Yeah. 
And, well, it's business as usual for the Houston Strong. There is the power of the Cats up front. Sanguinetti, O'Toole, Mullen on the front row. The gentleman behind them as well. That was one of the big adjustments this year. Justin Fitzpatrick, the former Irish prop in his own right, is able to put together that all-Irish front line. And as you mentioned, that's been the strength. This ball into touch, uh, early line out now, another set piece. Another yeah, coach who won the Heineken Cup with Ulster, the first Irish provincial side to do so. He really, I mean, that's what you want from a coach who played front row, not just bringing his countrymen yeah, on. He has those connections back to the Emerald Isle, wow. but a team that takes great pride in the set pieces. Mentioned this was just a four-point affair, a loss bonus for Houston when these two teams met in San Diego. Second match of the year for Houston back on February 9th. Well, this is a different San Diego side than Houston saw back in February. They've really found their footing. Windsor swings it out right now with Mullen. And a turnover, San Diego able to get hands to it and kicks. No advantage, kick under pressure, we're going to go lost forward. And you heard the explanation there for Luke, our referee, Luke Rogan. We mentioned for Houston, got to take advantage, can't have the miscues, no handling errors. Nate Augsburger about to feed the Strom, the pride of Minneapolis. 29-year-old, a former All-American at the University of Minnesota. Crouch. John Andre Mass over 30 caps in his career with the 15s and the 7s for the red, white, and blue. Right, there's the one, guys, for pre-engage. Let's hold the weight, please. Again, the front three interlocking there between San Diego and Houston, and continued point of emphasis for our match day officials. Houston able to continue putting San Diego under pressure in the scrum. Ball emerges for Augsburger. Houston plucks it away. But they will bring it back. Sabercon Cats thought perhaps they were about to put the first five points on the board. And Cecil Garber, one of the new additions back in the starting 15, got it back because that was, he thought he was off, but the whistle knock on against Murphy there. Both teams making some mistakes early here, miscues. Straight through, fellas. Straight through. Here's the mark. Former Eagles captain, officially Eagle 491. Crouch. Augsburger, your scrum half for the Red Hot Legion. Fines. Made that debut a few years back against Set. Italy. Oh. For Houston, this is what you want. A lot of scrums early. Stay there for me. Use it now. Use it now. Trying to utilize speed, one man to beat. Making no mistake was Esdale out on the perimeter for the Sabercats. Able to get a hold of Boyer there. Thought he had green grass in front of him. Malachi Esdale, good job to bring him down. Able to break through the line of Houston. Legion looking for the opening score. The support with Tao. Mikey Tao able to ultimately bring it down. We'll get the official indication, but it is going to be San Diego finding your opening five points here on the road. And Dylan Osley was the man taking it all the way and then able to find Teo who went across, but give Osley a ton of credit. A beautiful line break was off to the races. Was the outside center. Here it is one more time. Osley right through Palamo, unable to get even a hand to him. Then an easy pass off to Teo, and Mikey Teo, he scores much harder tries than that. No mistake, and the fullback able to dot it down to put the visitors on top. Well, it's like they're teenagers all over again. Those two teammates on the U-20 squad for USA back in the day, reunited here in San Diego. Of course, Teo returned to San Diego a few years back with the Breakers. 
Mateo, a Southern California native out of Long Beach originally. And great ties to Southern California rugby. Wonderful tradition. Conversion is up and it is through. Legion able to strike with the opening seven points. As your captain, Joe Peterson, able to split the sticks. You see what San Diego is able to do with ball in hand. So dangerous. Just one miscue from Houston. San Diego makes him pay. Ball right back to San Diego after the score. Well, Houston had their scrums early on. Nothing came of it. Instead, San Diego elusive. And Teo able to finish it. They'll play the advantage here. You ask any team at this level, you have to take advantage of opportunities when they're presented. Houston, the ball deep in San Diego territory, had scrums, unable to come away with anything. They're going to bring it back. Sabercats unable to pounce on that advantage. See if Mr. Windsor is going to try to drop a line out here for Houston. Sam Windsor, first team all Major League Rugby last year. Led the league in scoring, did the Rook, the Aussie. Do you wonder what problems it poses for him in Houston? You mentioned this is the third home venue they've had this season. Unfortunately, not being able to get accustomed to any one location for too long. They're there at Constellation Field in Sugar Land. Windsor made it his home, was able to split the uprights. O'Toole sends one in. Trying to establish them all, but Legion get the initial push. Can they hold off the Sabercats? And they'll bring this one back. Houston electing to take the scrum in this situation, already trailing seven to nothing. Generally, you would assume Windsor would go for the post, but yeah, first half of the season, this was an attempt at three. Already down, though, by the try and the conversion. And a Houston team that realized they can't keep settling just for, as you noted, three points at a time. Well, that's the difference. And you look at Noah Gold atop the standings. It's not just because of winning. It's because they're winning. They get that try bonus with the with the points they score every game, it's really helped propel them to the top of the league. Houston's first win this year came against Austin. They didn't score a single try. Instead, Windsor went a perfect seven for seven, and they needed all seven of those penalty goals in order to prevail against their in-state rival. Unfortunately, that was an indication of things to come, not the fact that they got the victory. A great start to the season coming from behind to get the win on the road, but that it was going to be difficult to score tries, and that has persisted until this point. Houston would go on to beat Utah in one of their other home venues in Sugarland, south of us here on the outskirts of Houston. This is one of the opportunities I mentioned. Ball deep in Legion territory, trailing. Houston has to find that in goal area. Can the Legion hold? Defending a seven-point lead. Oh, Palamo. Fortunate that that ball goes backwards to Windsor. Very fortunate Windsor was there to clean it up. Was not the anticipate with the intended target, I should say. But and Palamo just his third match with the SaberCats. That chemistry continuing to develop. This one forward. And they'll say a knock on. Houston not quite sure who the pass was intended for. Was it going for Palamo? Was it going for Kalina Sal? And neither made a move on it until it was far too late. And you talk about two centers with two very contrasting styles between Threat and Palamo and I'll say Kalina Sal. And you've got Palamo who is a battering ram, a hammer going forward, taking defenders with him, making meters the hard way. And Kalina Sal, the flying Fijian, a gold medalist in sevens rugby at the Olympics. One of the top players ball in hand with space in the world. Down to the forward knock here. Scrum for San Diego and Augsburger. As the middle of the scrum collapses. 
We'll have one more go at it here under the supervision of our referee today, Luke Rogan. And so far, that front row of Houston having its way. San Diego coming off that convincing win against Glendale back at home 46-15 seven nights ago. You factor in wins against Rooney and Seattle, part of this win streak. Yeah, those wins over the defending champion Seawolves really signaled the Legions coming to the scene. And not just being a playoff contender, but maybe a title contender as well this year. I expect Legion fans to mail a thank you card to the folks north of the border. Toronto doing them a service by denying Seattle any points, not even a loss bonus today. Toronto emphatic in their victory. Thought it was going to be a close match between the Seawolves and the Arrows. The Arrows having none of it. They kept Seattle scoreless until the second half. And the Seawolves coming away with just seven points in the entire game. Knock on from San Diego. Houston playing here with the advantage. Essentially with house money, can they take advantage? As do. San Diego defense very much bend but don't break. Once they get to that 22 meter line, they bow their neck. A little dummy from Windsor. Advantage over. You hear that's the end of the advantage. And Houston just never could get anything going. Let's just go through Mac. Hey, a frustrating season for Houston and for their compatriots there in the Lone Star State, the Austin Elite. Certainly for Houston, close matches, matches that they've had the opportunity to win. You mentioned Toronto. They were on the road to Toronto, able to tie that match at 21 all before the arrows pulled away for their first home win. Yeah, Houston was trying to continue the heartbreak up in Ontario. But instead, the Arrows would battle back last weekend for their first home win. Too often, Houston has been on the wrong side of those close games. Augsburger. Set! All that pressure. Use it now. As the black kids and the white kids combine in the scrum. Can the Sabercats stay disciplined? Turnover forced by the home side. Mattias unable to stay in, just had a foot there on the inlet, on the sideline, I should say. Another look here. Yeah, good job getting that wide out to the danger man. Osley again playing the distributor. Mattias tried to get it back inside, but Houston would have sent him out into touch. Able to use that touch line like a 16th man. It, that touch line does not miss many tackles. Fly on. Few. Miscue on the line out. Houston. Unforced error, the giveaway. And a knock on there as the ball spilled loose and rolled forward. That's really been the one constant we've seen through the first 16 minutes. Mistakes from both of these sides, unforced. Uncharacteristic, certainly from San Diego. A reason they've been as hot as they had of late. Just haven't made the mistakes, haven't shot themselves in the foot. Houston after today, a trip up to Coney Island to play Rugby United. Back home against Glendale on May 11th. Which in San Diego, a road swing. Toronto next week. Then New Orleans, then off to Utah. They actually still have two matches remaining against Nola Gold, the way the schedule plays out for San Diego. That will be a chance for them to prove their worth. Looking to punch their ticket for the postseason. They've already beaten the Raptors. They've beaten the defending champion, Seawolves. See if they can beat the top team in the league as well. He didn't have it. San Diego not heartbroken about the call as JP Duplessis fails to release the ball. 
By the way, happy birthday to JP. As that is coming up tomorrow. We'll have a chance to be back in his own bed on the West Coast. Houston electing to bring out the tee and they'll let Rook kick for post, try to put their first points of the match on the board. Had opportunities deep in Legion territory, couldn't come away with anything, and now see if the Aussie can split the post. Sam Windsor from New South Wales. Only player last year to notch over 100 points. Even factored in on a couple of tries along the way. He's been one of the constants for Houston. Just did not have the distance off the crossbar. Talk about luck not being on your side. Windsor strikes it cleanly, perfectly placed right between the uprights and off the crossbar. Perhaps an adjustment here returning to Dyer Stadium for the boot of Windsor. Talk about home field advantage. It's not true for anyone more than your your goal kickers. They're out there practicing. They know the wind conditions, the places they want to be. This Windsor's first match here at Dyer Stadium this season. Maybe not as comfortable as he would be if he was able to continue playing someplace for a longer length of time. Murphy. Beats the scrum. Sabercats looking to level it here. Murphy, one more toss out to Mike Sell. Can he dot it down? Extending. Sabercats are in. Five on the board. Great look inside. Dion Mike Sell able to finish. Tough running at the try line. Able to get it over for the five. And a big response from Houston. Much needed by the Cats. And a much more favorable opportunity coming up for Sam Windsor now with a chance to tie. And you see the good look here, the former Lindenwood man, Des Moines, Iowa native, just all heart at the line and able to push it across and down, would not be denied. Able to slip it past the captain, Joe Peterson. Using all of that wingspan for the six footer. Mike so one of the relatively new additions to this Cats roster and very happy to have his services. Windsor off the crossbar a moment ago on the penalty goal try. Conversion opportunity here to pull us level. It's a brand new ball game, seven points apiece here in Houston. As we have reached the hydration break, midway through the opening half, Sabercats Legion in another tight battle here at Major League Rugby. What does it mean to be super? I don't know anymore. And I've grown so tired of helping the ungrateful masses. It's time. It's time to be super again. It's beach season. The EM Sculpt is non-invasive and requires no recovery time or pre or post preparation. Get treated in just 30 minutes. Feel results right away. You'll see positive results soon after treatment and continue for weeks after. Schedule your appointment today with the one and only Timeless Plastic Surgery. Our board-certified doctors will get you on your way to washboard abs in no time. Beaches love abs. Cape and superpowers not included. Sabercats looking for their third win on the year. As they have... Managed to tie this one up. Mike Sell with the try, the conversion from Mr. Windsor. And they are able to match the early score from the Legion. 
Fantastic response from Houston, giving up the initial try to the Legion, then quickly able to respond to not things at seven. And that's so important when you go down, you have to come back quickly. You cannot allow the deficit to grow any larger. And Houston doing just that. We saw San Diego in the first ever postseason in Major League Rugby last year after that five and three mark on the regular season campaign. They would punch their ticket to the semifinals. They were hoping to, through happenstance, actually play for the title in their own home venue. That would not be the case. It would be both Seattle and Glendale competing on that last day. But Legion have been red hot as of late. A four-match winning streak. It's their second four-match winning streak this year. Last five matches unbeaten total. We'll see what Houston can do after responding, tying things up. The try from Mike Sell, the conversion from Windsor. A team that knows they've let matches slip away. They cannot do so today. You're playing at home. You're playing physically the style you want to play. Your scrum doing its job. You anticipate a battle in the remaining 60 minutes of this one. Another scrum here for Connor Murphy and Houston. Fines. That ball never matriculated through. As that scrum started to turn. Two teams playing different styles, high flying, fast rugby, get it out wide and let your backs do the work for San Diego. Houston likes to keep things in sight, to use the pack, let the big boys up front carry, really punish your opponents until you find the hole to get it out wide. Eight members of the Legion, eight members of the Sabercats locking up here in this scrum. Legion not backing down today against one of the stronger teams in the scrum this year. Has not translated to victories, however, for Houston. Though early in the season, many scoring opportunities for Windsor. Anana Schultz will free this one up. That's okay, K. With a sure tackle. Murphy eyes Windsor. Palomo. Finally able to bring the big man down. You see the swarming Legion defense. The reason, reason they are top in the league in points allowed. They give up less than 20 per game. Almost feels like there's... Twice as many white kits out there today. Legion so well disciplined and a bit of good fortune. The captain, Joe Peterson, finds a gift, dots it down, and back in the driver's seat, San Diego. Houston just a bit too casual, careless with the ball. Peterson, the fly half, able to knock it up to himself. Great job reading it. You take another look. Just able to bat it up into the air, found it, and no one was going to find number 10 in white. Over the years, we've seen the South African and Super Rugby continuing his career in France and Japan, and again, these days leading the way for San Diego here in Major League Rugby. That's very deflating for Houston, who after giving up the first try, was able to come back to tie things with one of their own. And if you're going to give up points, that's one thing, but you cannot give up points as easily as that. Joe Peterson, two for two today. And San Diego with its second lead now here on the road. And they are halfway to that bonus point. They will take all the points they can get here down the stretch, trying to secure a top spot in the postseason. Now by the end of tonight, Nola, by virtue of having this round off, will still have a game in hand. Tail 
Already one try run today. Oh, the offload from Teo able to step his man. And now turn over the other way. That one to Beecham, that appeared to be a forward pass. I believe that is the indication. Yeah, Van Malua just tried to do too much. He got a great ball from Teo. Should have gone down and retained possession. Instead, he tried to get it back to him, and Houston comes away with it. I believe Houston playing with house money right now on the advantage. Get some debt, Flex. Magno brought down, and now they are going to bring it back where the original knock-on occurred. See the ability of Mikey Teo. He's battled the injury throughout his career. Saw him back in a USA Eagles jersey earlier this year when the Eagles took on Brazil down in Austin. Came on as a substitute for Malua. That one may have been poked away from behind. Yeah. Looked like he had it secured. And good work there from Mike Sell, able to dislodge it. And here's an interesting situation again for the Sabercats. If they can win a choice here between scrum and kick. See what the mindset is. Obviously falling back behind now by another try and conversion. Have to imagine they'll remain aggressive here in the first half. Indeed, your scrum has done its job. We'll see if it can continue to do so. See the size difference up front between Houston and San Diego. It's not all about size, but it certainly is a it's a factor when it comes to the scrum. I was told black is supposed to be slimming. <laughs> I think Sanguinetti, O'Toole, and Mullen would like to believe that as well. They lock horns with Pippoletti, Blair, and the vice captain Patty Ryan. Saber cats with some space. Palamo. And a double knock on. One from each side just to get your money's worth. You take another look. Mike Sell. That one coming out. Yeah, off Palamo and then off Augsburger. Neither able to get a hand to it. Ball just bounced out of the hands of Mike. So is San Diego's scrum here. It's important to get ball, clean ball out quickly. Let Augsburger do his job. And it was a 17-13 final back in February. Oh, nicely done. Augsburger found the hole. Yeah, he caught Murphy anticipating the feed. Never happened. Yeah, this ball into touch. Augsburger's doing a great job taking what was given him. Just made the assumption that the American scrum halfer San Diego was going to work that ball out wide. Instead, called his own number. That's what a good scrum half will do. He'll see the opening and gladly take it. That's Pat O'Toole. Perhaps a little code from Mr. Mullen. Good job O'Toole's done this year in every facet. This is San Diego able to get the turnover off of the line out. Playing an advantage here, Wu Ching. Oh, Wu Ching, absolute beast of a man, so difficult to bring down. <laughs> Legion looking for their first insurance on the day. Flirting with that red zone. Wu Ching, the former linebacker for the Huskies of the University of Washington. Ball pops loose. Is it a break for the Sabercats? At least it'll halt the visiting Legion for now. It's the second time we've seen the Sabercats be able to get a hand in. Able to dislodge a ball out of the Legion of ball carrier. Peterson just got able to secure it. Tough tackle. Pops it loose. 
And just as San Diego thought they had tilted the pitch in their favor and were eyeing their third try of the opening half, we wind up with a scrum for the Sabercats. What are the odds this ball finds the boot of Mr. Windsor? Try, try to change the real estate positioning here. It's a very high that Sam Windsor sends this one down to the other way. Mikey Teo awaiting that. See the initial warning here from our referee, Luke Rogan. It's almost muscle memory now for all of our men in pink. Whoever the match official is, when Houston's involved, you just anticipate that the other side is not going to be able to hold up. And for all the issues this year for Houston, they concede more points than anyone in Major League Rugby. They've hung their hat on the scrum, and rightfully so. The top team in scrums won one of the tops, I should say. Murphy will look to feed the scrum once more. Palamos his option. Threaten. You can tell yourself you're the one delivering the hit to number 12 in the black and gold, but you'll wake up the next morning realizing otherwise. He may be able to bring him down, but he will leave his mark. Heyo looking to eat up some more meters. Nicely done there from Houston. Able to bring down Augsburger. Testing the opposite touch line. Testing the men on the perimeter for Houston. Again, a ball spills loose. Play continues. A lot of individuals standing around expecting a whistle. No whistle. It's one of those things you have to play until the referee blows the whistle, until there's a reason to stop the San Diego players waiting for the knock on that never came. Jordan Manahara empties out on a tackle from the Kiwi. And a massive collision there. Manahara introducing himself. Paired up with. Baramalua, the Fijian, former gold medalist in Rio back in 2016. Played on that side with Kalina Sal. Obviously, Fiji top of the table when it comes to World Sevens. What they've been able to achieve, that small island nation, such pride in their Sevens, and rightfully so. Give credit to Texans, they know how to find shade. <laughs> Doesn't matter what venue you tell them to go to to watch rugby, they are going to find the shade. Conditions like this, you certainly understand why. It may not be in triple digits yet here in the Lone Star State, but certainly hot and humid, and we'll see if that takes an effect on the Legion come the second half. Average fan has already had multiple hydration breaks. Can the Sabercats turn around this pitch? Osley doing a very good job there on Mike Sell. Looks like he had a bit of room to operate. Osley closing him down quickly. So much of this match recently has been contested here on the negative end for Houston. Houston who went behind early, came back to draw things even. Then they gift of a try to Peterson. Back to live coverage as Windsor's going to put this ball airborne and really he can drop that ball in almost anywhere he wants. A fine job here. So talented, so accurate. You see traffic moving along nicely. We promise this is really Houston. Just imagine the passerby is looking out their window. Taking in a handful of USA Eagles. Sabercats and Legion colliding for a second time this year. Truville, your captain. Truville intelligently continued to play as that ball had gone backwards. A lot of his teammates, again, waiting for the whistle that never came. 
Windsor's kick able to change field position here for Houston. Can they capitalize? Houston needs to come away with points again deep in Legion territory. Just five minutes remaining until the halftime whistle. Angelina in the fullback at the moment, smothered. Not seen much from Angelina thus far. Hasn't had opportunities to make his impact. Windsor, same options, back to Palamo. A oh, massive tackle, Palamo right at Stanfield. Stanfield, a great one-on-one -on -one tackle. So Stanfield, one of the players with ties to Sacramento and that Jesuit high school. A little older than Mr. Boyer, who's available off the bench today. Those two did not pair up there, but a nice pipeline, not from just there, but to the Cal Bears. You have a lot of former national champions suiting up for the Legion these days. A Jesuit program there in the capital of California. And then obviously Cal goes without saying what they've been able to do in the East Bay, one of the top collegiate teams in the country year in and year out. Scrum here for San Diego. With that advantage, their second lead today. Again, Houston down in San Diego territory, threatening but unable to come away with points. Use it now, Mike. You hear the communication from Luke Rogan. Augsburger heeds the advice. Augsburger using it. Nate Augsburger straight from the scrum to the try zone. And what a try from Nate Augsburger. The scrum half for the Legion read it perfectly. And again, you will see his opposite number, Murphy, anticipating him making the dish. He said, if you're going to go for that, I will take it myself. Cuts inside, breaks the ankles of Pangelina, and right between the posts. A beautiful try from Augsburger. That's twice today we see a defense for the Sabercats just going through the motion, making the assumption that there will be a feed from the scrum half. And each time we've seen now Nate call his own number, that time it leads to five more. Give him a ton of credit. If that's what Houston is going to do, they're going to give him that inside lane to run. He took it before, ran for about 20 meters, and this time runs all the way to the house. And for a third time today, Joe Peterson splits the uprights for the conversion. One of the nicest one-on-one, -on -one, I should say, one tries you're going to see right through, cuts back inside. Augsburger. See the Houston bench, palms to the sky. No one able to get a hand to number nine in white. Till the opening half, San Diego is one try shy at the moment of a bonus point. They've already surpassed the 17 they put up in the victory against Houston back in February. You noted a different side for the Legion who have found their stride here. The defense has always been good for San Diego. That's one thing they've hung their hat on. They're very proud of, but the offense has really started clicking of late. A reason they are tied for second place in the league standings. We think about two of the tries, the run from Teo and Augsburger. This is a Legion team that potentially could be thinking about more points here in the final minute plus before they head to the locker room. You have players like that, just the talented backs, everyone, Augsburger, Peterson, Matias, so on and so forth, and a, a healthy Mikey Teo. That is an embarrassment of riches. Line out here for Mr. O'Toole and Houston. San Diego certainly not immune to giving up points here at the end of the opening half with this field position. A few minutes ago, we were talking about Houston trying to find points and maybe even draw even before the halftime whistle. Trying to blaze a trail through San Diego defenders. Thought about the drop goal, perhaps. Houston had to play from behind the last week on the road north of the border. They were down 21 to nothing. They came back to tie three straight tries. They're going to have to do something similar today at home. Murphy out to you again, your captain, Matt Trueville for Houston. Back in the starting 15 today. Trueville, Saguenetti, Garber. The three changes in the starting lineup. Matt Blair not freeing up the ball handler. 
And a decision here for Houston now down two full scores. I did not as no. Windsor will send this into touch, set up the line out, and they hope they can sneak in point. at least a try before the halftime whistle. Yeah. A big sequence coming here for both sides. If Houston can find a try, it'll be massive for them going into the break. And likewise, if San Diego is able to get a stop, keep their 14 point lead intact. First thing here is you need a clean feed. Check. That mall will never form, may not be needed. Garber. San Diego able to tie up Beecham. I know where for Beecham to go. Well defended. Houston looked like they had the opportunity. They had a number advantage. They got it wide quickly enough, unable to do so. Houston sniffing that try zone, trying to punch one in for the second time today. Trying to cut this deficit in half. Going through the phases right now, trying to utilize that size advantage up front. Trying to submarine under and through San Diego. Fantastic job, the big men in tight. Houston still has it. Finally some progress. And San Diego hold them off. Windsor taken away. Oh, a heartbreaker. Peterson. Again, Peterson read the pass. Last time that happened, he was headed for the try zone. And this time, a try saving interception for the captain. Moment ago, it looked like it was going to be Peterson with the highlight run. Augsburger this time. One more toss, the feed, it'll be Nick Boyer squeezing in one more try. The try bonus already complete as we have reached halftime. What a turn of events. Houston inches away from the try line, but instead it's San Diego who comes back the other way. Boyer with the try, but it's the offload. Absolutely beautiful from Augsburger going down. Found number 14 in white, a picture perfect pass. Mikey Teo involved as always, able to break through. A great look to Augsburger. Augsburger going down, has the wherewithal, a perfect offload to an on-running Boyer. And Boyer across and in as the halftime whistle sounds. Credit to Joe Peterson who helped get it all started, forcing that turnover. He doesn't wind up with the try. He'll wind up here though with the conversion. Now four for four today. Four first half tries for San Diego. They've locked up at least one critical point here on the road in Houston. We've reached the midway break. Sabercats and Legion head back to the locker room when we come back. Some opening highlights, including four tries for San Diego. Meet the next generation of studio fitness. Introducing Tough Mudder Boot Camp. Train together. See results faster than ever. Check one out or own one yourself. Season two of Major League Rugby is up and running. Nine teams from across the U.S. and Canada battle it out every week for the right to hoist the MLR Shield. Look for the line. Look at this guy coming down. The crowd is going wild. The intensity, the drama, the buzz. You've got to love it. This is Rugby America. Get involved. Get behind it. It's here to stay.
Once upon a time, there was a time when time stood still and you could pause the hustle and bustle to unwind with good music and a cold, refreshing beer. Well, friend, that time can now be any time thanks to Love Street Coal Style Blonde. It's a crisp, easy drinking, go with the flow beer brewed with floral German hops. Hello. Well, hi there. When all you need is to kick back and give the soul some free time, all you need is Love Street. Brewed with love in Houston, Texas by the Carbach Brewing Company. Hello, my name is Christopher Santa Rose. I'm the Master Instructor of United Taekwondo here in Katy, Texas. We teach Taekwondo to children and adults of all ages. We also have Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Friday nights at 6.30. We look forward to meeting you and your family soon. Aviva, proudly sponsoring Houston Sabercats Rugby. With over 16,000 customers and 4,400 employees across the globe, we have delivered unrivaled excellence for more than 50 years. In an environment that's increasing in complexity, the one constant is the need for change. Change driven by new demands, by a desire to make things better, and by sustaining what you've created. We enable customers to master change, pushing boundaries in a digital world where everything is possible. Meet the next generation of studio fitness. Introducing Tough Mudder Boot Camp. Train together. See results faster than ever. Check one out or own one yourself. Major League Rugby is brought to you by Aviva. Aviva, a global leader in engineering and industrial software. Learn more about Aviva at aviva.com. Baylor College of Medicine Sports Medicine is proud to be the official health care provider of the Houston Sabercats. We know athletes because we are athletes. And Buffalo Specialties. If you can dream it, we can create it. At the break, midway through here at Tire Stadium. Houston fans hoping for a second half comeback right now. San Diego, four different try scores in the opening 40 minutes of play. Earlier today, Stephanie Gonzalez had a chance to track down Sabercats captain, Matt Truville. Hey guys, I'm here with Matt Truville, who is the Sabercats captain. Matt, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming out. Okay, so you guys have a lot of exciting things coming up, one of them being the summer camps, which is pretty cool. Summer is just around the corner, so can you tell us more about it? Yes, yeah, so um, obviously building our stadium, we now have a home where we can run some things out of. It's, it's something we've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, so we've got four summer camps coming up. Two of them are going to be at our Sabercats facility. Uh, one's going to be in Katy at the Red Line Complex, and the other one is going to be at the Quillian Centre, which has been our sort of makeshift home for our training session. So um, we're very excited to announce those four. Um, so you can check out the, the details on the website. Um, but they're a lot of fun. It's all about gameplay. Um, you know, it's just the kids seem to really enjoy it. Yeah, they really do. So. What I like, too, is that you guys are spreading it out. You're going to be pretty much all over. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this city is enormous, right? So... Um, so we have to we have to uh, take the camps to people instead of uh, asking them always to come to us. So we're, we're very aware of that. And um, actually, one thing that's really exciting is that we have a, a fifth summer camp now, if you will, um, not for youth. This one is for um, uh, disabled athletes. So we're going to have uh, they're going to come to our facility, check it out. Um, they'll see sort of how we do things, and then we're going to do some rugby drills with them. So we uh, we're extremely excited about that one as well. So. Oh, yeah. I love that. I love that. You guys are doing so much in the community. And something else that you guys are doing is uh, the HISD partnership, where you will be going to schools and teaching the kiddos about rugby, the awesome game. So can you tell us about that? Yeah, so it all started when we had our agreement with the city to, to build our stadium. A lot of things revolved around that, you know, and they said, a new sports team, we want you guys to help us uh, uh, activate some rugby in the, in the community, and particularly the HISD schools, and give those kids a, another outlet where they can pursue an athletic um, career or or just try something new it, and it could uh, it could help them move away for some from some bad behavior or some good behavior you know so um, I've seen rugby do that all over the world so it's something that I thought um, was, was spot along with what, what I believe in um, what rugby can bring to the community it's also our investors our head coach it, we're all on the same page and I'm so glad the city was as well because it's given us a chance to now make a positive impact in the community so um, 
So we, we started a long time ago. It's been a lot of conversations, but we're finally moving forward. Our first official partnership is Sterling High School in Sunnyside. And um, our coach McGee out there is a fantastic guy. He's actually an ex-NFL player. Um, so a very smart guy. Um, he's a community leader. And, um, and then uh, we're going to go and help their football team do some rugby tackling. Because as a, as a former professional football player, he agrees with us and says, you know, these kids, the future of these kids making it to the NFL and being safe is, is rugby style tackling, which is a shoulder leg tackle instead of, uh, instead of getting your head in the way sometimes. So um, extremely excited about that. There's, there's many other schools that are, that are um, interested as well, but Sterling's the first one to say we're in, let's do this. So we, uh, we go there next week and I could be more excited to, uh, to work with the football team. And then he's also allowing us to, to teach some rugby as well. So um, the, cool. that's very cool. Yeah. So you can see I'll, I'll get a little bit excited, but uh, <laughs> Um, and then the, uh, uh, hopefully the, the, um, something that will benefit the game out of that is, is those schools, once we've, um, once we've helped them with their football team and everything, maybe some of their kids start playing rugby and um, we're, we're looking to put on a, on a flag or a touch tournament just to give them an experience in the game that will host it at Aviva Stadium. So, um, yeah, a lot of cool things are finally starting to happen. A lot of planning has been gone into it and it's, it's taken off now, so we're excited. Well, once again, you guys are doing so much in the community and with the new stadium and whatnot. I mean, I think everyone should come out and watch you. Uh, so, yeah, thank you so much for, for your time. No worries. Thanks for having me. All right, guys. Back to you, Lincoln. Stephanie, thank you. The captain is back in the lineup tonight. He saw his Sabercats even this up at seven points apiece since then. 21 unanswered for the Legion. When we come back, some first half highlights. San Diego trying to continue its league best four match winning streak. Meet the next generation of studio fitness. Introducing Tough Mudder Boot Camp. Train together. See results faster than ever. Check one out or own one yourself. Season 2 of Major League Rugby is up and running. Nine teams from across the U.S. and Canada battle it out every week for the right to hoist the MLR Shield. Swart for the line. Look at this guy coming down. The crowd is going wild. The intensity, the drama, the buzz. You've got to love it. This is Rugby America. Get involved. Get behind it. It's here to stay. Once upon a time, there was a time when time stood still and you could pause the hustle and bustle to unwind with good music and a cold, refreshing beer. Well, friend, that time can now be any time thanks to Love Street Coal Style Blonde. It's a crisp, easy drinking, go with the flow beer brewed with floral German hops. Hello. Well, hi there. When all you need is to kick back and give the soul some free time, all you need is Love Street. Brewed with love in Houston, Texas by the Carbach Brewing Company. Aviva, proudly sponsoring Houston Sabercats Rugby. With over 16,000 customers and 4,400 employees across the globe, we have delivered unrivaled excellence for more than 50 years. In an environment that's increasing in complexity, the one constant is the need for change. Change driven by new demands, by a desire to do things better, and by sustaining what you've created. We enable customers to master change, pushing boundaries in a digital world where everything is possible. We know athletes because we are athletes. At the Sports Medicine Clinic at the Baylor College of Medicine, we provide top-level care to athletes of all levels in Houston and around the country. As the official health care provider of the Houston Sabercats, our doctors and sports medicine health care professionals are dedicated to safely enhancing our athletes' performance while promoting recovery and injury prevention. Getting you back on the field, in the game, and ready to roar. Meet the next generation of studio fitness. Introducing Tough Mudder Boot Camp. Train together. See results faster than ever. Check one out or own one yourself.
Major League Rugby is brought to you by Sharp Business Systems. Transfer the day-to-day -day management of your network and print operations over to Sharp Business Systems. San Diego Sports Medicine and Family Health Center, providing the highest quality of care for families and athletes of all levels. And by Falcon West Insurance Brokers for all your auto, business, or home insurance needs. Four tries to one, our score, San Diego up on the home squad, Sabercats here midway through. Both teams starting to emerge from the locker room, getting ready for the start of the second half. We are brothers, united by a shared passion to grow the sport of rugby. We assemble here. Oh, home of Viva Stadium. Welcome Dynamo fans to Cube 57, Patty Smith, John Granato, and Paul Gallant. We're really excited to be broadcasting 30 Houston Dynamo games this season. We were the Dynamo home last year. We're proud to be it again, and we hope that you'll be along with us, whether they're here at BBVA Compass Stadium or on the road all season long. That's right, Channel 57 or 653 on Xfinity. Come join us. Once upon a time, there was a time when time stood still and you could pause the hustle and bustle to unwind with good music and a cold, refreshing beer. Well, friend, that time can now be any time thanks to Love Street Coal Style Blonde. It's a crisp, easy drinking, go with the flow beer brewed with floral German hops. Hello. Well, hi there. When all you need is to kick back and give the soul some free time, all you need is Love Street. Brewed with love in Houston, Texas by the Carbach Brewing Company. Hello, my name is Christopher Santa Rose. I'm the Master Instructor of United Taekwondo here in Katy, Texas. We teach Taekwondo to children and adults of all ages. We also have Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Friday nights at 6.30. We look forward to meeting you and your family soon. Patty Smith here with Paul Gallant of Cube 57's newest sports show, Just Saying. We're at the Rustic every Thursday for lunch. Guys, this is the coolest new spot in Houston. Great drinks, killer food, cool vibe. Not to mention, they have great live music. Catch the best local and national acts on the outdoor stage. Check them out online at therustic.com. Check out Just Saying at Cube57.com. And hit us up with your questions every Thursday at noon right here at the Rustic. Just Saying, you won't regret it. Just about ready to go for the start of the second half. Five tries in the first 40 minutes. Mikey Tail got it all started when he was able to find the punctuation. Work and Odsley on to Teo. Teo able to dot it down, put the visitors on top. Houston, a quick response. Dion Mike Sell battling and able to get it across. That tight is at seven all. The problem was, it was the defense of the Legion poised on their heels, able to create transition opportunities, including the captain, Joe Peterson. A fantastic job. Peterson read it well. And then Augsburger off to the races. Nobody wanted to tackle number nine in white. He says, all right, I'll take it myself, which he did. Dot it down right between the posts. And in the final moments of the opening half, Legion strike again. Ike Teo on to Augsburger. A great run. The support line coming. And able to find Boyer a beautiful offload. Boyer across adds to the Legion's lead. What you didn't see was the captain, Joe Peterson, forcing a turnover to help set all of that up. A total team try. Four different San Diego players with scores in that opening half. 
A missed touch here. Can Sabercats take advantage? Pat O'Toole claims possession. Important for Houston to come out early in the second half, get on the front foot. Lincoln Rose, Kit McConico, Stephanie Gonzalez with you. Dyer Stadium for the first time this year, home of the Houston Sabercats match on this Sunday evening. Sabercats competing here a year ago. Lamo. Houston forced to come from behind the last week on the road. They were down 21 to nothing. They were able to knot things up. They're going to have to do the same today at home, trailing by three tries. Well, a couple of nice feeds there. It's going to wind up here with Fahnana Schultz cutting inside Esdin. But this is where the Legion, they stay organized. No panic. We have seen Houston flirt with additional tries after that opener. But it simply has not materialized. Seen great defense from San Diego, particularly inside their own 22 meter line. And the Sabercats, at least for the moment, able to win the ball back. And let's see if they've earned themselves. It was a, I believe, an indication of a high tackle. Windsor into touch, line out coming up, set piece here. Up next here for Houston. Houston has to take this line out cleanly. Hopefully get a driving them all going and find some points, preferably five to start the second half. Has not come together as the Sabercats would like off these line outs, at least in that opening 40 minutes. To Garber. Trying to spin out of it, beats him. And our referee today, Luke Rogan. As the infraction coming in from the side. And a brief moment where the Legion players slow to get up. Okay. Number three to fill the floor. That's what the penalty's for, yeah. Often sign of a little bloody nose. Don't like that the day before your birthday. JP, JP Duplessis being attended to and clearly picked up a gash of some sort there on the forehead. The South African, one of the returners this year for San Diego from that squad that finished third in the league last season in the inaugural campaign. And that looked to be less the nose and maybe an opening over the eye. Nothing a little super glue won't cure. And you heard the official ruling uh, from Luke Rogan apparently was during the line out taking out one of the lifters. Yeah, safety so important, especially when you have players lifted up. Of course, officially we have no lifters, just people supporting the guy who's jumping. <laughs> And we'll see if JP is able to return. He would be given an exception due to the blood. Houston has surrendered the last three scores. You saw the adjustment there for San Diego. As the San Diego native comes on. And Nick Lupion. Come on. Scrum here for the Sabercats. No desire to win a kick. It's all or nothing with that try zone within reach. The 
Three points simply will not cut it for Houston the rest of the way. It has to be tries, nothing less. San Diego, the defense does a great job, especially in the shadow of their own goalpost. Quickly reorganize, able to string Houston out. They get to the gaps, no room for Houston, nowhere to move. A second go at it here. And we want to see Houston scrum have their pack take advantage. Able to do so, pushing San Diego backwards. Windsor out wide to the edge and just could not link up. The idea was there. It was a great look, but just too tall. Couldn't find Esdale, his intended target. Trying to skip one out wide. You see Windsor saw Esdale wide open and that one well over the head. Left wing, just no chance to get to it. We've gone in the first division. San Diego not completely in the clear just yet, but it is their line out here with Pat Blair. Ball slips loose. Legion fortunate to still possess. No highlight offload from Augsburger that time. And again, Houston deep into Legion territory, unable to come away with points. Truville oh slow God, to get to his down. feet. We're not gonna, yeah, we're not San Diego so adept at forcing the turnovers when they need them the most. We're done. We're good. We're done. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Let's scrum properly, fellas. Yep. Here's him up. That scrum basically a model UN. Talent from all around the globe. Finds. Set. And you saw San Diego up front struggle. And Pat Blair slow to come up. Again, the scrum. We take it for granted, but so much pressure of grown men colliding there. Good. Good. And it's amazing we don't see more men slow to get up. If you don't meet that impact with just the right angle, it is why our referees insist each and every match that that tabletop be perfectly flat. It has to be shoulder to shoulder. Thousands of pounds of force being applied between the two. Units of forwards, all the work they do in the weight room, on the scrum machine, this is what it all comes to. It's not simply just power, there's a lot of technique, little tweaks, things that are hard to see, make all the difference. Something good come from this scrum for Houston. What does Murphy have on his mind? Reaches in. Windsor keeps for now. Windsor man behind him. Elected not to offload it and brought down. Ball with Beecham. San Diego still laying some licks of their own. Sanguinetti right into the teeth of that Legion defense. Nowhere to go. And a knock on the call. So San Diego continues to find ways to frustrate Houston. The problem is the ball just continues to be on this end of the pitch. 
Yeah, we've spoken so much about that front row for Houston, but the front row for San Diego getting it done, certainly defensively. Piffoletti, Blair, Ryan, then that second row as well, all coming up aces defensively. Houston's winning in the close confines of the scrum, but once you spread that line out, San Diego's been disciplined, forced some issues from Houston. They have not been able to get us back to the opposite end of this real estate here at Dyer Stadium. A scoreless second half, San Diego with the final 21 points of that opening period of play. Houston just too many opportunities deep in San Diego territory where they did not come away with points a lot about it's because of San Diego's defense but Houston have to figure out a way to make things happen when you have the ball in that kind of field position this is San Diego's scrum and one that fails to hold up As Houston, I believe, they had coming in at an angle. It's going to stop. Opening 10 minutes of the second half, about to elapse. Referee Luke Rogan, a few words for San Diego, a few things he's not pleased with. They need to get under control quickly. Have not seen either side issue to yellow thus far. Finally, a chance to shift the attention to the other end of the pitch. And Houston will struggle to get this back up to midfield. Uh, they will play the advantage for San Diego after the forward knock on and off the boot. They'll bring it back here for the visitors. And now, uh, well, some continued play for a moment. After. At least one gentleman took some exception. Extracurriculars after the whistle. I think both teams taking exception. Trouville, the captain, wisely pulling Magno away from the situation, the heated confrontation. And you see it through all oh, Sanguinetti right in to the solar plexus of Peterson. He had already played the ball through. That was well after the ball. Peterson right in the chest. Big Sanguinetti. So the captain down at the moment, the man who made his South African national team debut at the sevens level back in 2004. A longtime member of the Blitz Box. He's been outstanding and he reads the game so well. You see that from his sevens background, those passes. Anytime there's a little bit of air underneath him, Peterson can figure out a way to get there generally and has today intercepted two. Both led to San Diego tries. We've seen Joe and a few of his teammates today running around as if they were playing sevens. At times it looks like that. At times it's looked like San Diego's had twice as many men on the field. First things first. Right now, the concern for the captain. Return 35 next month. Well, we've seen some heated moments here down the stretch. Right now, Matt Truville, again, your representative, your ambassador for the Sabercats by virtue of being captain. Uh, conversing, and I say conversing, it's really one way from our referee Luke Rogan. Trying to set the tone for the final half hour here. You see some of the changes being made at the moment. A yeah, smart thing to keep that one-way conversation. Charlie Connolly will come on at prop. No shortage of Irishmen to fill the roles of the front three for Justin Fitzpatrick. Changes continue for Houston, trying to get some fresh legs on the pitch. 
Alejandro Nieto, who got the start at flanker last week, comes off the bench now for Cecil Garber, who got the nod today. And let's see if changing part of the cast out there. These were the individuals who had a chance to come in and relief here in the second half. Already a few factoring in. And this current pause in action after Joe Peterson left to be evaluated. That took a shot from Saguenetti well after he played the ball through. A little kick through from Peterson. Saguenetti just didn't pull up at all, went right through it. San Diego wants to be able to leave Houston, Texas today with five points. They already have the try bonus, looking to secure the win, but they also want to leave with their health. For a push that continues on the road at Toronto, at New Orleans, at Utah. Those are their next three outings. They don't return home until the second day of June, the final match of the regular season, when they face the goal for the second time in about a three-week span. We saw the confirmation of Saguenetti receiving the yellow card, so Houston will be down a man for the next 10 minutes. Our first caution of the day. Tail looking for support. I don't think that this Legion side needs any help, certainly not offensively, but they're going to get some. Well, again, with Peterson off the pitch, he is their leading boot. Good on all the conversions. Has helped set up some tries. Across to the opposition, needs to stop right now. Our referee again trying to address the dialogue that continues between our two sides. They're doing a very good job very keeping good. things under control. That has to be the case when you have a big hit, have a player head to the bed, as was the case with Peterson and Sanguinetti. There works it in. Ball has formed for San Diego. Ball tucked under the arm now of the hooker who got it all started. Even numbers cut inside. Legion looking for insurance, and a timely offload will accomplish exactly that. The first score of the second half as San Diego able to stretch its lead. What a beautiful ball from Audsley. Fantastic work, able to find a teammate running in support, and another great look of Dylan Audsley doing all the work as you get another look at it here. Good ball, Osley, the dummy, cuts right through. Before he could be brought to ground, able to find a man in white to add to the Legion's advantage. It'll be Nick Lupion who officially claims the try. Mentioned the native from just outside of San Diego in La Mesa, California. Started college, started rugby at the college level. San Diego State, ventured out to New Zealand. A chance to be a professional near his backyard with the Legion. Second time Audsley has played the distributor. And this is where we find the understudy. Replacing Peterson. And the Legion are still perfect today on conversions. First points of the second half coming for San Diego. Houston desperately needed to close the gap and just extends for the Legion. Time of the essence for Houston. If they're gonna have any shot of getting back into this match, they have to come up with points quickly. Dyer Stadium tonight on this Sunday evening in Houston. Welcoming back Major League Rugby. Two of the original franchises who helped get it all started a year ago. Twenty-eight unanswered points for San Diego after Houston had tied it up at seven. And Houston down a man leading up to that last score. Jamie Deaver back in, rotating this season in and out as a starter at prompt. 
providing depth today. Yeah, having to bring Deaver in, having to reconfigure that front line to Sanguinetti in the bin. Is for Houston, such talented men, such talented forwards, I should say, coming off the reserves bench. And a line out pending now. Truville asking for an explanation on the flaw in the scrum there for Houston. Right now, everything going the way of San Diego, really dictating things in the second half. What a combination it is. The best defense in the league, potent offense. You have forwards, all dangerous with ball in hand. Great offload capabilities of guys like Odsley, Boyer, Teo. Legion moments ago with the opening score of the second half. As we say farewell, the first hour of competition here between San Diego and Houston. Caddy Ryan, the vice captain, will step off the pitch in favor of Aaron Mitchell. And some new participants join the fray. San Diego just continues. New additions, no let up whatsoever. Closer to that try line and over another try for the Legion. So the Legion who had already secured the bonus point for the try bonus in the opening half. Just trying to add their point tally, perhaps for a tiebreaker down the road. In terms of point differential this season, that is not an area where San Diego has struggled. But the big lock hitting SKK that time goes across, able to dot it down his first try of the match. It'll set up the kick for Odsley. And no. I just I just assumed that the Englishman was going to come on. Now everybody getting in on the fun. This will be Anosa trying to be the third different man to split the sticks. And our first missed conversion on the day, tie off the mark. Bring us to our final hydration break when we come back the final 20 minute push, but the Legion marching through Texas up 40 to seven. We are brothers united by a shared passion to grow the sport of rugby. We assemble here our home of Beaver Stadium. Hello, my name is Christopher Santa Rose. I'm the master instructor of United Taekwondo here in Katy, Texas. We teach Taekwondo to children and adults of all ages. We also have Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Friday nights at 6.30. We look forward to meeting you and your family soon. Six tries today by six different members of the Legion for San Diego. Just gives you an idea of how much talent there is for San Diego. It's not just one or two guys, everybody able to get things done. We mentioned all their backs talented, and we've got guys like Kenny Nasikeke, 
second row or getting involved in well he came up with the last try for the Legion. A rare chance for Mr. Windsor to put his right boot in that ball here in the second half. You saw him hit the crossbar. All was not lost on a missed penalty goal opportunity. They would maintain possession and find their scoring try that would tie it up at seven apiece. Now 33 unanswered for the Legion. A missed conversion just a moment ago will keep San Diego at 40. At 20 minutes in, it was tied 7 all, and ever since it has been all San Diego just extending the lead here. Two more tries in the second half. Houston coming away with it. Miss Q from San Diego and able to secure the kick. Uh, turnover, but it'll come back. Captain Matt Truville comes off, giving away to Victor Comtat for Houston. Again, Houston's about to hit the road. It will spin their Cinco de Mayo in New York against Rooney. They'll come back here against Glendale to Houston. On May 11th, there's San Diego. No home matches until June. Final match of the regular season, likely a critical one against New Orleans, if for no other reason. Seeding implications for the postseason here in year two of Major League Rugby. Big question last year was, would San Diego happen to host the first championship and be competing for that 80 pound shield last year. Instead it was Glendale and Seattle with those Seawolves capturing the first ever title. The only question right now for San Diego is can they continue this form and this momentum? They've been absolutely outstanding. The hottest team in Major League Rugby for the last few weeks. How long can that continue? Pat O'Toole the only starter remaining up front for Houston. You heard playing with house money. Houston with some room to gamble. Glenn, they get in for the Tron. And Kalinas out with it. That's the first time that Kalinas out has had a touch. And San Diego needs to be careful here. Lifting a player off his feet, not escorting him back down to the ground. You're up 40 to 7, and as heated as it may get, you want to make sure you are able to leave without any consequences going into your next match. A tip tackle there, and it looks like he did come down on his neck or on the head. That is a very dangerous tackle. Staff quickly out taking a look and everything going your way if you're San Diego you should not afford to make mistakes like this. And you cannot just drop the ball carrier. At time Kalinasau. Goes crashing back down to the earth. Yeah, good to see him being attended to looks like be able to continue. Hopefully that is the case. A player of his caliber. This has been heated. It's been physical. That's what Houston wants. They like to play physical matches, but you have to keep things above board. A lot of talking after the play from both sides, and that's not going to help either. This is going to result in a yellow, I believe, advantage for Houston for the next 10 minutes. Unlikely to affect the outcome of this match, but again, for San Diego, you've got a lot to lose in terms of moving forward. If all of a sudden a man is not eligible to compete, 
Just ask Houston. That matchup against New Orleans at the start of the season, as we still have not seen the return of Ethi. Yeah, the league will go back. They will review the footage after the fact. Rogers headed to the bin for 10 minutes. Houston, they were down a man. Saguinetti went to the bin. San Diego able to take advantage. Now we'll see if Houston can do the same. Max Tackett comes on for Kalinasa. Saber Cats found their lone score in the opening half. At the time, they leveled it seven points apiece. Palamo driving to the line. Looking in, he's got his second try in Major League Rugby. Palamo bulldozes his way across the line, gives Houston their first points of this second half and much needed. The big man able to become a factor. There were three, maybe four Legion players on him but couldn't keep Palamo from dotting it down. We saw him come on and score off the bench against Seattle. Today, back in the starting lineup once again. And finds an elusive five points for his new team. And Windsor two for two today on conversions much needed for houston palamo able to find the try zone still time remaining but houston is going to have to move quickly they're going to have to find some points against the top defense in the league again with your captain no longer in the match, Peterson, it's tail. We'll send this one skyward. Miss Q from Houston, the knock on. Advantage, short lived for San Diego. They'll take the scrum. Saw the reaction from on uh, Schultz. Houston not doing themselves any favors, able to come up with a try, then should have been Sabercats ball, but instead giving it right back. Well, of our top four teams coming into this weekend, it appears only San Diego is going to be helping themselves out in the standings. We saw Rugby United on Friday night fall at Glendale. As the Raptors tried to close that gap, they're still on the outside looking in at the playoff picture. Earlier today, Seattle fell 29-7 against Toronto failing to capture points. The big winners this weekend will be the Legion. Collapsing. How big was that result up north of the border? Toronto able to come up with their second consecutive home win, knocking off Seattle. It did so in impressive fashion. San Diego, if they're able to hold on to get the win and the bonus point, be a huge weekend for the Legion. Carly Connolly at the last second comes in with the game plan. A lot of fresh faces now for this line out. A line drive that Magno is able to claim. Palamo this time sharing the wealth. All of a sudden, Palamo coming alive. Tack it. Saber Cats were held quiet for so long, and they will not find that quick second score of the half here. Turnover back to San Diego. Again, Houston turns it over. Not just a turnover, but inside the San Diego 22, getting into that territory where they can see the try line. Houston 
Another miscue, another turnover. So impressed with this Legion defense. Seems that they get stronger the closer their opponents get to their try line. And Pat O'Toole, 65 minutes plus under his belt today. Legion remain disciplined. There might be a few big gains for Houston every now and then. Uh, just unable to string them all together. And the knock on preceding the possession there for Esdale. It's at the point in the match, the score line, San Diego almost content to give Houston possession as long as they're not in any threatening territory, as long as the time continues to tick off the clock. Let's go, Jamie. Crouch. Fines. Get the shoulder out, straighten up. As adversarial as the scrum may be, obviously its beginnings require cooperation between these two sides. Crouch. Fines. Set. Generally, the team able to get the lowest wins. That was the case there, San Diego. Out to Boyer. Tail. would like to get him more space, that one. Devin Short, the youngster, the Las Vegas native coming on, getting involved in the action. One of so many players with American football experience at the collegiate level and making the transition onto rugby. San Diego just looking to tack on some insurance, perhaps. They do, in fact, bring out the T. Again, long gone is your captain, Joe Peterson, your most trusted boot. Here is Nick Boyer, our fourth different man to attempt to split the sticks today for San Diego. Take points when they're on offer, take time off the clock, win-win here for the Legion. Back in November, his first cap with USA against Romania. Say that, but unable to split the uprights. Houston playing for pride at this point, just over 10 minutes remaining. Windsor hoping to create some chaos. Augsburger, though, sure handed, able to bring it in. Fortunately, this is a position that Houston has been in a few times this season, down in a deep hole late in matches. They've continued to fight, they've always battled. Able to 
to advance that ball with the boot, but it'll go into touch off of Boyer. Heads up play there from Boyer low. Didn't think he was going to be able to get to it, so went ahead and sent it up the field as it trickles out. Tool. Still factoring into this one. Tool has been a stalwart on that front line. He's done everything asked of him and then some. Windsor. Oh, great vision. And it's met with speed. Malachi Esdale. Mikey Tail it will slow him down for support to join him defensively. A great look. Houston still looking dangerous. Can they come up with a try here? Esdale, a beautiful run, and Tail just enough to slow him down for the support to come and make the tackle. And just off the mark, they'll see, they'll say that went backwards to comp 10. One more pass out wide, and Connolly will dot it down. Well, odds are always good. An Irishman is going to get his hands on the ball with their presence on this roster. This time, Charlie Connolly, nothing but green in front of him, able to find the trunk. A good ball outside Beecham playing the distributor, Connolly across and down. But that was all set up by the great run by Esdale. Running for 50 meters right up the middle. Tail is able to slow him down, but Houston bringing numbers up quickly enough. Able to play with or without this conversion, it's a three score ball game. Three scores inside of 10 minutes to go. And Windsor, under modest pressure, will push this one wide. Mentioned Houston playing for pride. What a great job there. The big try here at the Final few minutes. Well, Houston fans right now talking about, well, maybe we'll see a draw. The margin at 21. Mikey Tail, the first of six different try scores today for San Diego. And yeah, Tao can do it all. Generally see him as a fullback. We've seen him play scrub half for the Eagles. Coyle frees it up. Well, Houston has yet to follow up the score with a quick subsequent return to the try zone. Let's see if they can put together something here. It was down his feet, Deaver. All of a sudden, Seven minutes down, and every prop you got all of a sudden feels like there's a world class sprinter trying to put together a YouTube tape. And yeah, we've run off his moves. And the big boys at this point in the game, they want to get in on the action. They want to find the try zone as well. We've already seen Connolly, we've seen O'Toole in previous games. Weaver not to be left out. Luke Beecham still among your starters in for Houston. Same can be said for your scrum half. Nate Oxberger for San Diego. Legion trying to get those points right back. Their lead cut down to 21. They already secured the try bonus before they went to the locker room at halftime. And a caravan along that far touch line. This ball will go into touch. <laughs> as we'll bring this back out. That well done by Houston using that touch line as a defender. And they'll say initially 
There's actually a knock on prior to that. Take another look at it here. Ball outside, a bit of room. You saw the knock on just dislodged. Mattias unable to hold on. Uh, referee Luke Rogan keeping the official time. That will be a popular question asked of him here over the next few minutes. As Tackett, an early sub, will now come off for Joe Kelly. Scrum for the Sabercats in the shadows of their own try zone. Right on the sideline. Murphy thought he saw a window. Tackle made by Lupion. Drop goal from Mikey Teo, and that one will be pushed one. They're not sure if the whistle blew before it did. I didn't notice if they had an advantage. That is the most common situation where you would see a drop goal effort. There was no such advantage as Windsor has a chance to put this one in touch. Point in the match now where Legion players one eye on the clock, one eye on the pitch. Get out of here with the victory. They already have the try bonus secured. They'll keep everyone as healthy as possible. Well, we won't pretend that San Diego is not allowed to return to the Golden State until June, but they'll simply be training back at home. No home match in front of the fans until that final week of the 2019 campaign. Before the postseason, they've improved their odds of being among the final foursome. The question for them will be, will they have the services of their captain, Joe Peterson, took the shot from Sanguinetti earlier Went to the sideline. Deaver. Well, that's a nice ball to Esdale, who had such a glamorous run earlier. No such luck this time. And somebody greased that pig as it finally goes into touch. Scrum coming to Utah. Give you a chance to add the finish. Excuse me, it'll be to Houston. I was going to say maybe a chance to add the finishing touches to this one. Lincoln Rose, Kip McConaughey, Stephanie Gonzalez with you. Stephanie will hope to have a chance to catch up with our man of the match, presumably wearing a white kit. The question is, who is this going to be? There are a lot of nominees. A lot of great performances from Legion players. This was Oprah style rugby. You get a try. <laughs> you get a try. Everybody, it seemed. Six different men for the Legion today. Nate Augsburger has been outstanding. I would say somebody who hasn't scored a try, but has been outstanding in my opinion, Dylan Osley. I think Osley has been fantastic. Mikey Teo, obviously. It's Mikey Teo, and he had the kind of game we assumed he would. Mikey's the kind of guy you just hold your breath, wondering what you're going to see next when he touches that ball. It's hard to go wrong, no matter who Stephanie has a chance to catch up with. Another scrum for Murphy to feed. Houston seven points at the half has found a dozen here on the other side of the break. Asdale looking for support. And again, utilizing that touchline, San Diego forcing the Sabercats to give it back. Asdale just ran out of gas. He had green grass in front of him, but just not enough left in the tank. I have a feeling if we see these two teams embrace at the end of the match, it'll just be holding each other up. 
exhausting affair for both of these teams, even with all the substitutes that have come on, providing fresh legs, at least initially. Obviously, Houston in contention for a try bonus. As they'll hope to make the most of this final stretch. Mike Sell, a try earlier today, got the scoring started for Houston. It tied the match at that moment, 7 all. Esdale's had some nice runs in the second half. Compton. Saber can still possessing. Chance here for Houston to come up with something at the final whistle. Again, they've lo logged three tries today. Hoping to at least salvage a point. And not releasing. And that is your final whistle. San Diego Legion have now won a league best five consecutive matches unbeaten in their last six and they have skyrocketed to the top of the table in Major League Rugby. When they wake up tomorrow, they will have more points than any other club here in MLR. When we come back, we'll talk to our man of the match. Aviva, proudly sponsoring Houston Sabercats Rugby. With over 16,000 customers and 4,400 employees across the globe, we have delivered unrivaled excellence for over 50 years. In an environment that's increasing in complexity, the one constant is the need for change. Change driven by new demands, by the desire to make things better, and by sustaining what you've created. We enable customers to master change, pushing boundaries in a digital world where everything is possible. We know athletes because we are athletes. At the Sports Medicine Clinic at the Baylor College of Medicine, we provide top-level care to athletes of all levels in Houston and around the country. As the official health care provider of the Houston Sabercats, our doctors and sports medicine health care professionals are dedicated to safely enhancing our athletes' performance while promoting recovery and injury prevention. Getting you back on the field, in the game, and ready to roar. Season 2 of Major League Rugby is up and running. Nine teams from across the U.S. and Canada battle it out every week for the right to hoist the MLR Shield. Sport for the line. Look at this guy coming down. The crowd is going wild. The intensity, the drama, the buzz. You've got to love it. This is Rugby America. Get involved. Get behind it. It's here to stay. Today, five points go back to California with San Diego. Our man of the match, the Legion fullback, Mikey Teo, is with Stephanie Gonzalez. Stephanie? All right, guys, I'm here with tonight's player of the match, Legion fullback, Michael Teo. Michael, you had an amazing game tonight. You guys did great. So uh, what was y'all's mentality coming into, you know, playing against Houston? Uh, first off, I want to thank God for this beautiful day of rugby and all the blessings he's given us. Uh, all the glory goes to God. And uh, yeah, I just want to say we prepared for this game. We knew it was going to be tough, humid, 
uh, the conditions, the fans, and uh, yeah, we just tried to try to do our best. Came out with a game plan, and our defense uh, held on. Well. Yeah, our defense went well. And let's talk about the defense because you guys went up against, you know, uh, Houston defense back three that includes you. So what was that like? So our defensive game plan was just just get up, get up, put put as much pressure on the attack as the as we can before they get the ball, and it paid off. There was a lot of knock-ons, and we just tried to use that transitions and try to score and it paid off for us for the most part. And obviously season's coming to an end, but you know, how much does this win mean to you guys? Uh, season's coming to an end, but we're just trying to take it one game at a time. Uh, we're not looking to the championship. We're not looking to the playoffs yet. Just one, one game at a time, every, every one we play. So we have three more road games and uh, yeah, it's going to be good. Well, congratulations again. You guys did amazing. All right, back to you. Stephanie, thank you again. Uh, Mikey's certainly mindful that they still have three more road trips before they finally get back in front of the home crowd on June 2nd. There are your standings after this weekend is now complete. Four matches in Major League Rugby this weekend. Your biggest winner, San Diego, as they now sit one point better of NOLA Gold. NOLA had this weekend off. They will be eager to factor back in, by the way, just for fun those two have yet to meet this year they still have two clashes coming up here before the postseason gets started something to look forward to here at major league rugby odyssey and major league rugby continues their red hot streak great stuff from san diego look forward to those matches against nola gold we'll see who comes away victorious so mikey tail and the legion arrive in houston and they will leave texas with five more points in their back pocket 40 to 19, your final for Stephanie Gonzalez, Kit McConico, I'm Lincoln Rose. Big thanks to our, our entire crew as year two of Major League Rugby continues. United by a shared passion to grow the sport of rugby. We assemble here. Our home. Aviva Stadium. Welcome Dynamo fans to Cube 57, Patty Smith, John Granado, and Paul Gallant. We're really excited to be broadcasting 30 Houston Dynamo games this season. We were the Dynamo home last year. We're proud to be it again, and we hope that you'll be along with us, whether they're here at BBVA Compass Stadium or on the road all season long. That's right, Channel 57 or 653 on Xfinity. Come join us. Once upon a time, there was a time when time stood still and you could pause the hustle and bustle to unwind with good music and a cold, refreshing beer. Well, friend, that time can now be any time thanks to Love Street Coal Style Blonde. It's a crisp, easy-drinking, go-with-the-flow beer brewed with floral German hops. Hello. Well, hi there. When all you need is to kick back and give the soul some free time, all you need is Love Street. Brewed with love in Houston, Texas by the Carbach Brewing Company. Aviva, proudly sponsoring Houston Sabercats Rugby. With over 16,000 customers and 4,400 employees across the globe, we have delivered unrivaled excellence for more than 50 years. In an environment that's increasing in complexity, the one constant is the need for change. Change driven by new demands, by a desire to make things better, and by sustaining what you've created. We enable customers to master change, pushing boundaries in a digital world where everything is possible.